hello guys what's up good day okay you welcome to today's class okay today's class promises to be very very interesting trust me today we will be designing a logo a 3d logo using our smartphone yes okay the app we'll be using to design it as usual we already know that it is our pixel lab so i'll be clicking on our pixel lab right now okay then i'll be deleting this text first now i'll be showing you a sample of what we're going to be designing so i'll be clicking on this plus sign then i'll be going to from gallery where i'll be taking the sample of what we are actually gonna be designing today okay this is actually what we are designing today wow just look at that this is beautiful you see that this is amazing okay it is very 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 simple it is not difficult at all all you just need to do is to pay attention and trust me by the end of this class you should be able to design something like this or something much more beautiful than this okay let's get started so i'll be reducing it i'll be putting at the top corner here now the first things first like i always say you always need a background so i've actually downloaded a background from freepix i have showed you guys how to download from freepix to make your work easier smarter and neater so i've actually downloaded it so i'll be going to my gallery i'll be clicking on from gallery where i actually have my background downloaded so i'll be clicking on this yes okay so like i always say because i have brought this i've imported this already before bringing this in so anything i i import after it will automatically go behind it so i want to bring this to front so i'll be clicking on to front okay so i want to expand this i want to make it big yes it's our background so it has to cover the workspace perfect so once i'm done with that i will be locking it lock i'll be yes okay the next thing is this golden circle so i'll be going to i'll be clicking on this plus sign clicking on our shapes then I'll be changing it to a circle. That's right. Okay. That's right. So I want to copy that. I want to have two circles. So instead of me drawing another circle again, I will just copy it. I'll click in on this copy. And it automatically copies it. You see that? Now I'll be working with this first. As you can see, we have a golden circle. How did we do it? It is very, 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 very simple. It is not difficult at all. What we did is we moved to our texture. You see this texture right here? We click on it. Then we click on this particular blue icon. I want to texturize it. So I'll be clicking on this. Now, when we are using this texture, um, this texture effect you will have to select what you actually want want to use what you actually want to use you have to be very very careful in this um, in this case i want to use this i want to use this so i'm trying to adjust it that way you can see that then i'll be clicking on my mark sign you see that you see that so we've gotten our golden effect perfect then i'll be working on this as well from the sample we have it has a black color that that's right a black color with a stroke the stroke happens to be in red color yes okay 
so i'll be adjusting it this way let's see okay let me bring this down a bit so that i can see what we are doing okay well okay i think this is perfect i think this is perfect so i'll be merging that together so i'll be coming to this um icon above here i'll be clicking on this um this icon below then i'll be selecting the both of them to make it an entity then i'll be clicking on yes okay i want to merge it all right moving forward we are progressing trust me i'll be bringing in this our air icon which i've actually downloaded from our free picks earlier before this class so i'm going to from gallery and i've actually removed the background from removebg.com as you can see this is a png file that doesn't have a background so i'll be clicking on that circle to give it a circular shape wow you can see that so this is it so i'll be adjusting it yes you need to adjust it it has to be perfect well look at that so i will be merging that as well let me expand it a bit okay this is perfect so i'll be merging that as well this and this match okay okay so it's now a single entity you can expand it together it is now a single entity you can see that we are actually making progress trust me now our brand name is airport that is the name of our company airport so we'll be writing that 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 out and it has to be very 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 bold so it's going to be in capital letter airport okay so i'll be bringing that here i'll be expanding it this way perfect okay now i want to work on the color we want to work on the color so i'll be giving it according to the sample we have there the color we used i think this is actually the color we used perfect then i'll be giving it a stroke i'll be giving it a stroke color i'll be giving it a stroke color yes this is actually the stroke color we used this is actually the stroke color we used then i'll be giving it a shadow you know just to look at that just to add some beautiful effect to our logo you see that so i'm clicking on okay now we are progressing we are actually making progress so i'll be embossing it as well we want to make it look beautiful we want to make it look nice so i'll be embossing it but before that let me make it bold let me make it bold wow okay so i can now as well emboss it i can now as well emboss it emboss yes you see that wow this is nice this is nice this is nice so um our tagline is gonna be it's all about beauty so we'll be typing that out at, as well it's all about beauty
it all about beauty okay so i'll be changing the font the font according to this text um according to the sample we have right there this is the font we used okay So I'll be adjusting it. I want to reduce the size, the size of um, our tagline. Okay, this is perfect. Now we've actually done almost everything. Okay, we have a red straight line below it. We have a red straight line below it so i want to import that under our tagline we have a red straight line below it we actually went it's actually from our shadow this particular shadow this 3d shadow yes so i'll be clicking on that enable the color we used according to this um this text is red you see that so I'll be increasing that so that it can be a bit bold. Okay. Wow. You see that? This is perfect. This is beautiful. Wow. So this actually, that we've actually designed is a 2D. So we now want to make it a 3D. Do you get what I'm saying? This all what we've designed now is a 2D. So we want to make it a 3D logo. So what are we going to be doing? We'll be selecting it one after the other. I will be giving it a 3D effect. That's right. So I'll be going to where we have our 3D shape. This 3D shape, I'll be clicking on it. And I'll be enabling it. Then I'll be going straight down to where we have our Y rotation. Then I'll be, you can either move it this way. Or move it that way so I'll be adjusting it this way you see that you see that wow this is this is beautiful so I'll be going there I want to adjust it it has to be perfect like super perfect So I have to adjust it properly. Wow, I think this is better. So you'll be clicking on this mark sign to show that you are done and you can proceed. We'll be doing the same thing for our airport as well. We'll be going to the 3D text. That one was 3D shape, but this one because it is text, it's going to be 3D text but it's still in the same position so you'll be clicking on it as well enable you see that then you can adjust it using your y rotation you can adjust it the same way so that it's going to follow suit perfect wow look at that this is beautiful this is very very beautiful so I'm going to be adjusting it. I'll be doing the same for our tag line. We will be giving it a 3D text effect. That way. Okay. And we are good to go. We've actually designed. We've actually designed a 3d logo in less than 20 minutes and trust me if i am to design this particular logo for a client i won't be collecting anything less than 5k but as a starter you can just collect 2k to do what to grow your customer base it is very 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 important as a starter to have a strong customer base so after that i will be I'll be deleting this. We are not in need of this anymore. So I'll be clicking on delete. 
okay so i want to merge this together so it can be one entity so i'll be going back to where i have this icon so i'll be clicking on it then i'll be clicking on this particular one okay so i'll be clicking on it that way Okay, it's actually loading, so we have to be wait. Okay, okay, we are making progress now. Look at that! Wow, wow, wow! Look at this! This is beautiful. This is this is amazing. This is amazing. This is amazing. So we are actually done with our theory D logo using our smartphone. Isn't this amazing? Now we want to save. Like I always say, we want to save. You don't want to just save as as um, just picture or anything. This particular saving to it has some tricks and um, and secrets that you have to follow some people make big mistakes while saving their works making um, their work not really coming out nice so i want to save this so i want to save this now so i'll be clicking on this as this sd card icon then i'll be clicking at save as project first you'll be giving it a name airport because um as i always say your clients may have um your clients may want you to uh, make some changes may want you to edit it so you can just go back to it open it and make some corrections maybe your clients may want you to add some things to it so you can just go back to your project open it and edit so i'll be clicking on okay then after saving as project you still go back to that same sd card then you save as image but you will be saving the dimensions as default the format is jpeg no problem about that the dimension would be on default it's going to be on ultra some designers will tell you this but i'm telling you this because i want your work to come out looking its best so i'll be saving it to gallery save to gallery so it's going to render render the image before finally saving it giving it a perfect and a unique look so save and it's all saved look at that so we are actually done with the class please and please subscribe to our youtube channel we always drop new new videos every week subscribe and click on the notification button so that you can be notified whenever we are dropping new videos thank you god bless you